We'll eat some, and then you guys can drink the juice. Yeah. Oh, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. you guys said that That's a bad deal. That's a Donald drink. Trump deal. If we suck the juice, we're having the meat as well. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, it's Mimi and Phil and Lupe, and welcome back to Takeout Tuesday. Today we have Nick. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Today we're eating food from La Casa. Four hundred seven Laura Ave in the great city of Cranston, as they like to say. <laughs> Cranston. What, what do we have going on here? All yeah. right, we have yuca fries mm. and a yep. little mojo. You don't, you don't see these a lot. The yuca fries? Yeah, you don't see them a lot in Rhode Island. Mm. But really totally cool. love yuca fries. That's why we got them. We have chicharron tacos, we got pupusas, we have tortas, which are made with the plantains or patacón. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, we also have ceviche in there. Ceviche? Over That's there fine. In the little yeah. And here's the thing. And we, the boys. Yeah, we found out that there is a divide right here. What? We like, we like to sip on the ceviche juice. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Electrolytes. Yeah. We don't. No, we don't. Nikki and I sweet. were like, what is I that I was like, what do you mean? You can't drink that. But, but what is it about it that you don't like, though? I just, I don't know. I like eating the ceviche, but then drinking the brine from... Did you know. call it brine? Yes. Well, it's called juice? Yeah. Sure. You don't just you don't deserve the ceviche if you don't enjoy the soul. And that's why he just voted us out of being able yeah, to... Yeah, you I guys know. are. Exactly. This is film that's how he eliminated section. us. No, no, no. We are totally... You guys can have the crackers. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right? <laughs> we'll eat some, and then you guys can drink the juice. Yeah. Um, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, whoa. You guys said that that's a bad deal. That's a Donald drink, Trump deal. I don't would appreciate rather that. drink the juice. If we suck the juice, cool. we're having the meat as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that on the menu here, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, let me see here. So, Nikki, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Is it true? <coughs> do you actually eat? I do. Do you? Do you? I eat do a lot. Do you actually eat? And uh, it's been reported that you also drink too. I drink quite a bit. So you just updated your profile to I, Nikki I, Eats I, and yeah, Drinks. Yeah, Nikki Eats and Drinks. Nikki Eats and Drinks. So I'll be, um, I'll be posting food and some wonderful cocktails that I find. Some bevies? Ooh. Some bevies along the way. Ooh. When did you start your Instagram? Probably 2014. Oh, yeah. I started, it was a... No, it was Nikki underscore Fitzbo, and it was my secret fitness account. Fitness account. That's why for, we never. That's why I never found. That's it. exactly. So, uh. <laughs> and, and fun fact, yeah. no one has ever called me Nikki in my entire life. Really? So that's why it was my secret account, and it was Nikki underscore Fitzbo because I knew no one would find me. I want to have one of these guys because I've never had. And Bring I that over. And I think I'm gonna lose my Mexican card here by saying this. I've never had a chicharron taco. Neither. Cheers, here, buddy. Good? Yeah. They're not playing around. Why, why don't you explain the flavors? Well, if you've had your own, you know what we're talking about. If you haven't, Christmas. get your butt down to La, la Casa. <laughs> Alright? Get your asa a La Casa. Okay. The <laughs> texture of the chicharron oh. is so good. And it's been like, I don't know, 45 minutes since yeah. we ordered it. <laughs> and it's still <laughs> super crispy. Mm. That pickled, is that pickled cabbage or radish on top? Lupe, you have the menu. I'm so sorry. Here you go. I'm... <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that chicharron is insane, man. I know, but it's so good. Wow. Radish. 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 So let, let me tell a story Rock, about chicharron, Rock. right? When I was a kid, they used to dig these pits in the backyard. And it's literally like That's the trading cool floor places. at the NASDAQ. Everybody's going, yo, $2, $2, $2 for the feet, $2 for the butter. And literally the whole pig will be gone in 30 minutes. They go crazy when someone does that in the backyard. It's insane. Like it's a pig so roast good. in the back? Yeah. And they would do them every single weekend. And the family, that's how they would make money for the whole week. By just deep frying a whole pig. Wow. And people are just coming in and just going ham on it. I'm going to try this sauce. What do you think this sauce is? It says it's moho. What'd you call me? What's <laughs> <laughs> up, so man? you the moho. Okay. <laughs> it's got a little sour. What are, what are we thinking here? Did you guys hear that? That was a yucca fry. Is that a honey mustard? Yeah, it's got a mustardy uh, aioli good. action here. A lemon. Honey mustard lemon. They're, they're mixing things up. It's like fusion food. Mm. They're going chicharron taco. Never had it in my life. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah. What is that? Are you mm. having a big one? Yeah. Yours, yours is bigger than mine? Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's a yucca? I don't, I don't, I don't yuca. Yuca. It's like a root vegetable. Yeah. I would say. They make everything out of it. You can make yeah. mashed potatoes. It's like the most it's universal. It tastes just like french fries. Yeah. I was not big into plantains until I moved to the East Coast. It's too sweet. I don't like sweetness. Mexicans, we really don't eat a lot of plantains. <laughs> Plantain is like a yucca. Very versatile. You can make it into mashed potatoes, which I think they call mango. Anybody know? Mango? Fact check? Mango. Jerry? Mango. And then they do, uh, they fry it or they eat it just, um, I don't know, they just have a lot of uh, applications to it. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Everything is so good. Awesome. So 
It's not sweet at all. Oh, it's not sweet. That's good chicken. Yeah, it's most not sweet. of them, it's, good. it's not. Because when you actually cook the green plantains, it's not sweet. It's when they're like yellow. I think they actually eat dark meat too. Chicken, dark meat. I just had a piece of the chicken from it. It was actually really good. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I I judge a place by how it cooks its chicken. You know why? Because it's the e it's the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. So if they f it up, that's how you know the kitchen doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, this is fantastic chicken. Yeah. Yeah. It Shout is. out to La Casa Chicken. Shout out to El Pollo. El Pollo de La Casita. <laughs> okay. And Cranston. Orlando, La Casa, two thumbs up. Can we have a little background on gains over everything and sure. carbs over anything? Yes. Por favor. So, yes, so Gains Over Everything is um, our clothing company, mm -hmm. um, mostly lifestyle apparel. All right, we started out with, I think, nine snapbacks yeah. with Gains Over Everything on them, and they sold out in a weekend. Nice. nice. And then we re-upped, I think we did a couple dozen, and the weekend they came in, they were gone. Nice. And it just snowballed. Terrible. We didn't even realize what was happening. Mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. while it was happening, we, you don't realize what's happening until it's yeah. already happened. And now right. when we look back, we're like, oh my God, like that took off so fast, People, people were, you know, people were writing their statuses on Facebook saying, what is this Gains Over Everything? What is it, a cult? Yeah. Like, no. that's how... Yeah. Wow. Which and, is a cult that I would join. Yeah, yeah. but you yeah. know what? That's such a compliment to... Well, I'm sure you guys know, as a business, when people call you a cult, like, you know that people are wearing your products, they like it, and they're wearing it... Oh, like, they're wearing it enough that people are like, wow. <laughs> people feel something. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, they really like something. that. Yeah. I wear so, my Rhode Island OG hat so much that it's, like, disappearing. That's how good it is. But people were like, yo, you have any other hat? Like, I had to get <laughs> so a game over everything else. <laughs> I got to mix it up. Yeah. So, Wait, yeah. What are you wearing? Yeah. yeah. But I love this. Right. Carbs over. Right. Yeah, yeah, so this is this was <laughs> this another one awesome. of our um, logos. This is the fat guy did. version. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> is, yeah. So if you have a clothing line and then you have a big and tall clothing line, <laughs> this is it. This right? That's it. Well, it was always gains over everything. As It wasn't just gains in the gym. And right. it originated as it gains in gains all gains. aspects yeah, of life, yeah. like gains any, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you're working towards, whatever, you know, just progress, yeah, whatever it is. There it is, yeah. Um, yeah that, but that's it, that's, there it is. that's yeah. what it is. Okay, it's, all about it's all about growth, baby. Yeah, so it is. I like it. Because we are in so deep into the fitness world, mm -hmm. they yeah. latch onto it so quick, and that's, you know, the direction we went. So that's how we ended up with carbs over everything, because the competitors, as you know, are eating very little carbs. Very so it's little. funny, like carbs for them is, is funny. It's a funny yeah. logo, but it's also for people who aren't competing too, because right. we all love carbs. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How does everybody feel about the food so far since we <laughs> kind of devoured it a I'll lot? I'll go for sure. Yeah. yeah. I definitely they give a good job. two thumbs up because first of all, they just, just opened really like recently, right? And yeah. when I was there picking up the food, I got there a little before like kind of a rush, but I think a lot of people started coming in. A lot of people like knew the owner and all that stuff and he actually came up to me in Orlando and said hello said you know hey how you doing all that stuff super friendly um also the cashier that took my order so nice and then there was even a girl so I had two huge bags of food going out the door there was even a girl who was just sitting there she was like she offered to help open the door for me props to you shout out customer to you, service That's she didn't awesome. work there though yeah. <laughs> just kindness she didn't work there but shout out to you you Kind soul. <laughs> yeah, part of the Worthington family too. Uh, Black sheep, and yeah. you know they're they're just doing it. it's a great group. Gorgeous family, honestly. Great family. Uh, those guys have worked in hospitality for I oh, think yeah. decades. Decades. I know. From I'm literally talking about dishwashing to cooking yeah. to managing to ballet. attending yeah. to ballet yeah. to yeah. everything. Oh, I remember seeing Orlando at PJ's when he yeah. worked there. Guy kills it. The whole family kills yeah. it. Yeah, Oscar, yeah. So too, Brass Monkey. Um, yeah. You know, they, they spent some time out in uh, New Orleans to really soak up to a lot of the Southern hospitality and they brought that with them along with being a Rhode Islander and it's, yeah. I mean, the proof, is, the proof is in the exactly. papusas. <laughs> the, proof the, the, the proof is in the papusas. Which are delicious. Yeah. Everything yes. was... Make sure you say it right. Everything was so delicious. Ah, uh, volume is in. So, <laughs> pupusas. Yeah. Pupusas. What? Oh, that was really good. Nikki. Pupusas. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Alright, so we just had all this from La Casa and... What did we think, everybody? What did we think? I loved it. Yeah. Yes, it was. Fire. 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 Yep. All right. Well, we'd like to thank all of you guys at La Casa. Thank you so much. The kitchen, the owners, you guys are just fabulous. Lots of love. And you can tell in the food, too, that a lot of care goes into it because it's just amazing. It's fresh. Right, yeah. baby. And fresh. Yep. Yeah. So don't forget, La Casa at 407 Laurel Hill Ave in Cranston. All right, everybody, make sure you try them. Then a Rhode Phil. Island original. Lupe. Lupe, how are you? And a special Nikki. guest, Nikki Eats, Nikki. Nikki Eats. Games Nikki over Eats. everything. How are you, Rody Foodie? 
We will link her Instagram below, so make sure you check her out. And also <laughs> check out the clothing line. Carbs over everything, gains over everything. We out. We out here. Bye. Bye. Until next time. <laughs>